Okay, in this video, we're going to be converting a repeating decimal into a fraction. So for the first example, we've got 0 0.5 repeating. Okay, so what that means is we have 0 0.5555 dot 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 dot. Okay, goes on forever. Okay, we're going to set that equal to x. So what would happen if I multiplied x by 10? Well, it would move the decimal place over one time. So instead of 0 0.55555 repeating, it would be 5.5555 repeating. Okay, so 10x is equal to 5.5555 repeating. Okay, now what I'm going to do, since I know that x is equal to this, okay, and I want to get rid of all the decimal, I can subtract x from both sides, which x is this, so what I'm actually subtracting from the right side is 0 0.5555. Five repeating. Okay, so all these disappear. Okay, the only ones left is the five. So over here I get 10x minus x, which is 9x. And on the right side, I get just five. Okay, so if I solve for x, I divide by nine on both sides, I get x is equal to five over nine, which is equal to this repeating decimal, 0 0.5 repeating. Okay, let's do another one. So on this one, I have 0 0.41 repeating. Okay, so now it's two decimals that are repeating, decimal values. So it could be written as 0 0.414141 repeating. Okay, again, we're going to set that equal to x and we're going to multiply, but we're not going to multiply by 10 this time because that would only, that would get the decimal between the four and the one. We want to get the entire 41 outside of the decimal. So what would I have to multiply the x by to get the decimal place to move two digits? Well, we would multiply by a 100. Okay, so we'll multiply 100, and that would move the decimal place twice, so we'd get 41.414141, dot, 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 dot. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to subtract an x which means over here on the right, I'm actually subtracting this. Okay, so for subtracting point, 0 0.414141 41 repeating. Okay, that gives us on the left 99x. And on the right, it gives us all this stuff cancels. And it's left with just 41. And if we divide by the 99, we get x is equal to 41 over 99, which is the same thing as 0 0.41 repeating. Okay, let's do one last example. So on this one, I have 0 0.724 repeating. So this time three digits are repeating. Okay, so that's the same thing as 0 0.724, 724, 724, repeating. Okay, so again, we're going to set that equal to x. Now this time I want to multiply by something that'll move the decimal all the way to here so that the 724 will all be a whole number and then the 724s will keep repeating. So what do I need to multiply to get the decimal to move three times? Well, I'll multiply by 1000. So 1000 times x will be the same thing as 724.724724 seven two four dot 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 okay and yet again i'm going to subtract the x which means i'm going to be subtracting zero point seven two four seven two four seven two four dot 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 and then all of these cancel and we're left with 724 on the right and on the left we get 999 x is equal to 724 if i divide by 999 I get 724 over 999 is equal to x, which is equal to 0 0.724 repeating. 